In this video I'm going to show you how you can add a yoke across the back of your bodice block and also put in a pleat that will run down the centre back. This would be ideal if you were considering making a shirt using this block or just if you wanted a certain style on the back piece. You've probably seen the back yoke and pleat techniques shown on quite a number of shirts such as these ones here and I'll show you how you can adapt your back pattern piece in order to create this style. I'm going to trace around the back block marking in that dart on the shoulder I'm going to keep that in marking the notches for the armhole and coming across at the waist Because I'm going to include an inverted pleat down the centre back, I'm going to ignore this waist shaping here. I can complete drawing the block by just drawing across the bottom there. Next you need to decide where you're going to put your yoke line. And I think visually, probably somewhere between a quarter to a third of the way around the armhole would be ideal. I will draw a line that's a 90 degree angle from the centre back into the armhole. And I'll draw in that dart. I'm going to separate these two pattern pieces to create the yoke and then the pattern piece below. Before I do that I'll mark in where I want to put a couple of notches, again drawing a line 90 degrees through the yoke line, marking up a couple of positions to help me match those pieces later on. I'm going to trace off the yoke section Now I've traced off the pattern piece, I can add my pattern markings and the one centimetre seam allowance. That's the back yoke complete. Now I want to add in the pleat to this centre back line in the lower section of the back pattern. Again I'm going to trace this off. I want to add on here a pleat. Now that pleat could be as wide as you like in full scale, perhaps it would be around four centimetres in full scale. So what I'm going to do is to add in my fold lines to create that. And each line is going to be two centimetres apart. So I'm going to add on two centimetres there and then add on another line two centimetres away from that.
and continue and extend that yoke line here across the top of the pattern and also across the bottom. Now I've traced off the lower section. I can mark up the pattern and add the one centimetre seam allowance where it's necessary. This centre back line here marks where the middle of the back is and this line here will now form, this section here will now form part of the pleat and so this line would be cut on the fold and this section folded up to create a pleat. Now my lower pattern piece is complete for the back and this would be my yoke section here. So you'd see these two pieces would meet across this line here, across that seam line. The centre back of the yoke is cut on the fold and this fold line here which is part of the pleat, this is where you'd be cutting on the fold and these will become, this will become a fold line in the centre here. 